Well, what's up, y'all? Right now, we are going to this boat ride that we supposed to go to like a couple weeks ago. But remember, y'all, Lux was acting so crazy. We couldn't go last time. So we went, we came back to San Antonio, y'all. That's where we at. We in San Antonio. And we about to try to get this boat ride going today, man. Make sure we can actually get this experience down, y'all, because I really wanted to do that last time. And it hurt my heart that Lux was going through it like he was. And it was hot. It feels way better outside today, y'all. All right, y'all. So we about to get ready to head to this place. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hold on, gotta make sure I grab the snacky snacks. We got a little booger right here. Y'all know he boogieing. You boogieing, Luxon? It feel buddy. pretty good. No, I, I know you don't trust him to stay right here. Y'all, Derek was finna let my son run away. All right, hold him real quick, I gotta get this. Okay, it says the river walk is this way, though. Yeah, y'all, last time we really got lost out here, man. It was so annoying and it was so hot. We walked like two miles with Lux and he was crying the whole time. You feel me? And we finally end up getting to the boat ride like what? Two hours, an hour and a half after we got <laughs> like parked. It was so frustrating, y'all. We about to make it happen today. We ain't missing it. That's one of the boats right there we're supposed to be getting on. Y'all, we gotta find a way to get to it. But Lux has been so good already, y'all. I'm so proud of him. We'll see how long it lasts. Oh, here we go. Here, go. here goes one right here. Oh, this is the spot right here. We hear that quick. That's what I'm talking about. See? Yeah, we good. Let's get it. You got our tickets? Yes, I do. They're on my phone, but I got to use the bathroom first. All right. Y'all, Lux is looking at these birds like what? You see the birds? <laughs> Say hi. Say hi to the bird. Say hi. They eating a whole bunch of bread. Y'all, so they just went into the restaurant and used the restroom. Y'all, y'all know how that pregnancy bladder is y'all she need to go use it when she need to use it you know what i'm saying so she's gonna take care of that and then we're gonna hop on our boat ride and see what it's talking about y'all it's beautiful though like look how beautiful the scenery is there. look how beautiful these like hotel rooms and stuff like that it's like a nice feel out here in san antonio like it's something that especially when the sun ain't beaming down that you can actually enjoy the time you know what i'm saying so we're definitely having a good time right now our ride is here our ride is here you ready to get on the boat luxon Ooh, you, you ready to get on a boat? <laughs> He's happy, y'all. You ready? You ready or are you scared? You gonna give me five? Give me five. Good job. Good job. Hey, you dropped your sweatshirt on the ground for no reason. <laughs> Pick this up. Hopefully he does good, y'all. He's yeah, starting to wild out. out already. You wanna sit him down? Sit him down right here? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't try to get, hopefully he doesn't try to get down. He might. He's trying to get down? Yeah. Y'all, we got Lux in with that ass. He's starting to act right a little bit. He's eating a snack. So. Yeah, the snack will help. You want more? Yay. You want, you want more? more? Alrighty guys, y'all ready? Yes sir. Yeah. <laughs> woo! <laughs> <I'm> excited? <laughs> Say woo! <laughs> <laughs> Say woo! Say yay! Right. I'm excited though. It's almost 2.30. Mm -hmm. You guys know what happens every day at 2.30? Nope. Our boat takes off. Mercilessly the entire time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous wearing the thing. So that's the whole safety brief. So welcome to the crystal clear waters in the San Antonio River. They must. Oh, right around this corner. Really nice. Cool. It is nice of you. Lux is enjoying it. So obviously the first thing you're going to do is buy a ticket to hop on a boat, right? It's the number one tourist destination in Texas now. After the bottom floor of that hotel, it's like a five minute walk from the Alamo. The Alamo is actually so close that when they built the Hyatt Regency, that's as tall as they were allowed to build it, after two years of shadow testing, to make sure that it'd be the right height, that it wouldn't cast a shadow on the Alamo. Here, once we control the water, we started in his office back there in 1941. On the first business happened. And there was actually nothing else happening for a while. People thought it was still with a flood until this restaurant right here opened up. This is Casa Rio. It was the first restaurant on the river. Mm. They were the ones who started the whole idea of riverside dining. Yeah. They were the ones who started the boats. That's kind of when we entered the, uh, the modern era. The World's Fair back in 1968. 
get his big hemisphere, and that's kind of what so puts San Antonio right. on the map for that. It's a world class um, sort of tourist destination. Bring it boats like this. We got people from all over the world right here in this boat. We're a pretty big deal, man. The tower is really cool too. If you want to go up there, you can eat dinner up there. It's got a rotating restaurant on top. So as you're eating your dinner, you get like a 360 view of the city. It's super cool. It just keeps rotating. You gotta go find your table. It's pretty hard to do after a few of those little martinis up there. It's part of the experience. And if you look up here in front of us, this is the newest piece of art in the river. It's also the nudest piece of art on the river. It's a giant naked Aztec lady looking up at the stars. I got your grandkids. Right, because the Aztecs were the big astronomers when they studied the stars. The whole thing is made out of this volcanic rock that they give to us from Mexico. Those are our amigos down there. Muchas gracias, Pedro Reyes. There's actually there's a little hole up there in that star. And if you were to take a laser, one of seven different countries to make that called the confluence of civilization. The Latin culture on the left side, Western culture on the right side, a little naked family up there in the middle. Uh, meant to symbolize the family of the future. When the two cultures came together in San Antonio and formed a whole... Take a picture? Yeah. Y'all, we just finished the boat ride. Dad wants a picture now, so we'll be back. Y'all, right now, we're on the top of the bridge where J-Lo had one of her main scenes at I in, forget, what's Selena. It? in Selena, y'all. This is a nice view. You I know what I'm saying? I had to go home and watch it now to see. Yeah, go home and watch it. Yeah, that'd be a nice thing to do. And yeah, look at this, y'all. This is a beautiful view, y'all. Look at this. So beautiful. But y'all, it's time for us to go ahead and head back to the car. So y'all, we will be heading back to the car. We're probably heading back to Austin. Well, we in Fredericksburg, y'all. So we're going to go back there. It's about an hour away. We got an hour drive. We're about to get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? We're going to head back. So we're going to keep y'all tuned. We're going to keep y'all updated. You know what I'm saying? We'll let y'all know what the moves we make. So y'all meet us at McDonald's. Let's get it. Is that where we're going? It don't even matter. I don't even going to lie. We can go wherever. <laughs> so y'all, we just literally are leaving the boat, boat ride. And we are about to have to pull over because some guy in this truck. I don't even know if it was a guy, to be honest. Semi truck, bro. It had to be a guy. That dude just hit our freaking car, bro. Like, what is wrong with this dude? We got two babies in here. And honestly, y'all, I'm I'm really I'm livid. My bo my blood is boiling. I can't even get my words out right. But I am literally like, I don't even want to say exactly how I feel because it might not be appropriate to even be saying. But I am po'd, and I'm just very frustrated, honestly, because the man hit our car and then we turned our hazard lights on to pull over, and he literally just Keep kept going. drove it, driving straight past us. But this is a company, like a big ass truck, bro. Like it's dude's truck. We haven't pulled over to check everything yet, but luckily our Tesla should have recorded everything, but I don't know if it did for sure, but I literally got a video of just a piece of his truck, like, because everything literally happened so fast, y'all. Luxon instantly started screaming. We just literally got him to calm down. Yeah, we was on over. the expressway, bro, going so fast. Like, we was going, like, 70 miles per hour, and this dude hit us, bro. Like, we lucky to be alive right now. Like, just to be all the way 100, we so lucky to be alive. Like, God is the greatest. God is so good, y'all, because we could have literally not been here right now with y'all even making this video, bro. Like, because he been he was watching over us, man. Like he really was, because we was going so fast. When I tell you, this dude is in a semi truck, a big dump truck, like something huge. He was driving so stupid, yeah. like driving so fast and reckless and careless that he didn't realize that it's a whole family in front of him that that cherish their life and on vacation and trying to enjoy our life, bro. Like this dude don't care about that, bro. He caring about get to wherever he's gonna get to to get that little paycheck he was gonna get. You feel yeah. me, like? And I'm honestly, I'm so, I'm so mad. Like, I'm so, so mad about everything just because of the fact that of, of I'm pregnant, for one. And second of all, you hit, he hit the side that Luxon and I are, am on, but he hit Luxon's side mostly. So, with that being said, and then he just let, literally did not care enough to even stop. Like, you, like, what? And then on top of that, y'all, I'm so mad because I did not see his business truck because I wanted to call them immediately. But now, since I got a little bit of footage of the back of his truck, and I got his license plate, I'm just trying to figure out what, like, what to do now at this point. But y'all, if anybody was wondering, I did some research, and it's a Kenworth truck, like a, a, like a truck that 
semis be putting the stuff on the back up like yeah, like carrying big materials big dump truck like type of thing like that and i'm trying to get away from him y'all because this dude's carrying stuff in his truck and his stuff's falling off hitting the windshield so i'm trying to get around him and he's not letting me go around him basically right. and the and the, the lane merge is over and i'm trying to merge over he wouldn't let me merge yeah so basically he runs into the back of us so and the crazy part is y'all we already was keeping our eye on him because he was driving literally fast. extremely fast to be carrying tons of whatever he's carrying like you're driving too fast and when i sit down and find out where this company is i am going to call his company i'm going to tell them to list off the license plate and everything y'all need to fire this man because he just hit an innocent family and literally kept driving like y'all if y'all only knew how pissed off i really am right now like like i the stuff that i want to do don't even like it don't even sound humane like i'm so so mad honestly and I just uh. We're about to see this damage, y'all. That's what we're about to do. We're about to assess this damage yeah. We can see what's going on. <sighs> and here we are trying to enjoy our vacation, which we we was having a really good day until this happened. Like everything was going pretty good and then this this happened. Like I'm trying to stay positive and remain like grateful about what happened in the situation because it could have been a lot worse, y'all. And that's what I keep on telling myself so I don't get mad because we just got this car this year, y'all. We know we just got this, so like <laughs> Can we enjoy our vehicle, right? Like, without somebody acting so stupid and careless, bro. Like, watch what you're doing on the road, man. Like, we got the park and show y'all what's going on. Um, y'all, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not, I'm not happy. I mean, obviously, I'm happy because we survived. But it's just like, bro, like, why, 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 why? Like, if you know how to properly drive a car, he knew that we're supposed to be merging because our lane ends. The HOV lane was ending. He knew we were supposed to be merging. He decided to speed up when our lane was ending and literally rammed into the corner back of our car and i'm sitting here telling derek i'm like dude he just hit our car are we gonna stop we stopped but this dude kept going yeah, like he kept going he really kept going bro oh my goodness i'm for real just i'm i'm just y'all i'm trying to figure out the words to tell myself not to be mad but i'm i'm mad like I am mad. You hit me and my family. I'm pregnant. You hit my toddler side. Like you didn't even care to even like like stop, bro. Like that's the thing. Like you didn't even care to stop. Like you don't like you that heartless. Like you really that upset. You that you letting this road rage get to you that bad to where you couldn't even stop to make sure the people that you hit were freaking okay. And I'm just so like all right, y'all. Listen, I'm about to show y'all. Right. <sighs> like I said, this could have been a lot worse, y'all. And like we could have literally spun out and all type of stuff like that. But God was on our side, y'all. Look at this. Look at the damage. And this is us going literally 70 miles per hour, and him basically me merging over, and him not letting me get over, and him running into the back of me. Literally. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Y'all, we about to get Luxon out the car, man, and try to settle down and go back in and, 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 and try to blow some of steam off, y'all, because it, it, I'm, I'm honestly pissed off. Like, I'm honestly, like, mad. But like I said, I'm going to try to stay in a good spirit, y'all. I'm going to try to stay in the right mindset, right headspace, you know what I'm saying? And, and try to enjoy the rest of this vacation and not let this bother me, you know what I'm saying? It could have been worse, like I said. Man, God is good. We're going to give all the praise to him because we could have not been here. Like I said, we was going so fast. He could have spun us out in the in the middle of the expressway and had us on a basically uh, on, on our last day, our last moment. You know what I'm saying? So that's beautiful right here, y'all. This is this is it. The car, this is all material, man. This is all materialistic. Uh, we can get another car. We can fix the car. But this right here is irreplaceable, y'all. This right here, irreplaceable. I wouldn't trade this for the world, y'all. This is the best feeling in the world. I wake up, get to see my son, put a smile on his face, and, and put a smile on my wife's face, and enjoy this life, man. We can get a new car. We can get a lot more of these cars, man. Look at this. You see the damage they did, son? You see? You see the damage he did? It, it, it's what happens when you're careless out here, y'all. This is what happens, man. Y'all pay attention when y'all you, driving. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, bro, this is... We haven't even had our car for a year. Like, that's just... Here, take him. Because it's... He's heavy. I'm already a little frustrated. But y'all, like... I'm just upset because y'all know that... Getting a new car was really important for Derek and I. And this is really, like... This is really big for us. And this is... I'm really proud that we was able to get a new car, you know what I mean? But just to know that we haven't even had it for a year and some a-hole does something like this and just, 
my, my mind's blown at the fact you just kept going. Like, I think that's what makes me even more upset. Like, we could have kumbaya and talked and like, okay, you know what I mean? Like, what's your company and this and that? Like, we could have just talked about it, had a little brief conversation, but you literally, that just tells me what type of person you are. You decided to just go. Like, what if we would have spent out and, God forbid, left this earth at that moment? Would you would have kept going? Like, that is crazy. Like, there's another look, y'all. Look. It's, we got this damaged and this is damaged. Hopefully this is we like can. Like a scrape though. Yeah, cause he. Yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with the scrape, but the dent. I don't want the dent, right? I want the dent to come out. Maybe we can get some. Maybe somebody can get something and pull this out, and maybe the dent won't be as bad. The paint is messed up, like. The paint's messed up. Maybe we can scrapes. buff. You can buff it. Buff this out. You know what I'm saying, or something. Get it. Get it repainted. It's gonna be money though. It's gonna be money. And he should be paying for it. He should be paying for it. His company should be paying for it, man. We're gonna we're gonna pull his footage out, out of our dash cam and see if we can get it and see if we can get his information and try to catch up with him and get and, and get our lawsuit going, y'all, because well, right. I'm calling his I'm calling his job and I'm telling them they need to fire him. I'm pregnant. You hit my toddler. You kept going. I would I wouldn't even have cared if you would have stopped and talked and you know what I mean. We could have elaborated on everything, but you kept going. Like you did not care. You did not Let's go.